Hi guys, in the last video we had a simple program in which you can input your age and then depending on, on, your, on the age you input the program says you're either a minor or an adult and that depended on a certain constant in this, in this case key age and the whole work uh, the whole decision work was being taken over by an if else statement now the thing with this program is that every time I ran it or every time I wanted to run it I had to go cargo run and then input an age let's say 36 and then that's it and if I need to run it again I have to go again cargo run and input another age and so on so what I want to do in this video is basically have this program run eternally until I input a certain uh, key combination or, or certain code for it to stop and in order to be able to do that we come into the realm of loops now in rust there are three loops three types of loops one is loop which is basically an infinite loop one is while and one is for now in this video we're going to tackle the infinite loop basically loop and what we're going to do now let's modify our program slightly for that loop and um, let's start here and let's give our program as well a name and a method to exit so uh, let's go println and let's call our program a minor I find it's a good name Welcome to a minor and then uh, press um, xx to exit and that would be the introduction to the program and then we can start with the loop and loop is basically the word loop and then we open braces right now uh, furthermore I'd like the, the program to have uh, to take also to output not just the age but the name so it basically allows you to input your name and age and then it tells you you know you so and so are either a minor or an adult so so in order for the program to uh, take a username as well I, I have to define that variable as well um, now what I'm what I'm doing here is that all of that stuff all of that stuff has got to be placed in the loop itself for it to repeat all the time this stuff up here will not repeat it just turns up or gets printed once and then that's it and here below here we're gonna print another statement which is basically um, You exited a minor. Now this text also appears after you have um, exited the uh, application. Right. So and now everything else is taking place in the loop itself, and that's why it has to be put within those curly braces. Now I've got the age. Let me take that off. Oh, let me just go like this and cut that so that's the age and and here I have username okay so I have these two are done I've got two strings now I need to uh, take the username so I'm just gonna let me cut that and please input your name and then what I have is I take this, which is basically for the age, and uh, username, and I just say no name was read, right, and right. 
Okay, so and the same thing we do for the age. Just copy that and in this case print your age and user age and no age was read. Right, so now we have both inputs and then that stuff stays the same. So just cut it and take it over and right and mind you those tabs are not necessary I could leave it like this but it makes it just more readable putting it uh, in this way so you know all of that block belongs to this block which in turn belongs to loop right so and then I have my constant key h that doesn't change and so on so and now I have my conditions I can copy these as well and oops and just put them in here and obviously if needs an i and that's it so basically now oops i have just put everything in a loop and that takes and i don't need this anymore right so what's the problem here uh unreachable statement yeah right uh, i've got everything now here uh what i can also add um the name i'd like to have the name so i'm just going to put a placeholder for the name here and then we have here username and again here while um Again, placeholder for the name, and then I have here, right, and then that's it. Right, so now this, this is how we converted the program to a loop, and what we did, basically we have a statement greeting us to the application, and then we have the loop itself, and in this loop, every time, in every iteration, username and user age are getting defined, basically created new, basically the old stuff is getting thrown away because we don't need it because they're entering a new iteration. Then the same procedure starts, input your name, it takes in your username, input your age, takes in the user age, and then uh, all that stuff happens. We have the constant, we have a test age, and test age is basically parsing or change, converting user age, which is basically a string to a number, an, an, an int 64. And then the test, as before, gets tested. Your age, the age you input, gets tested against this constant. And if you're below it, you're a minor. And if you're above it, you're an adult. And furthermore, um, this here uh, is basically a placeholder for the name. So we added now our, our string has now two placeholders, one for the username, one for the test age. Right. Now, two things are missing. First of all, let me just say here, uh, last time I explained it is that unwrap is basically uh, a sort of way of when you convert when you convert a string to a number a string to a number yes sometimes you might be inputting a non-numeric string or some an error so what happens here now in this case with unwrap uh, it, the, the, what what is said is that the system panics or the system has a problem with that and here I can improve on that I can say you know what if some user input or what if I input some invalid age what happens then in this case we get a we get an error and the, and, the, and the program stops and we don't want that so what we do we want to control the flow much better so what we're going to say here if unwrap or right and then I'm going to say what 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 happens if I input an invalid age well if you input an invalid age then I'm going to set it to minus one which is basically really an invalid age but now we have it under our control because the program will not exit until we say so and this way we don't get an error and you know sort of the program cash crashes out of it or gives us a warning but basically it works and minus one we have to deal with that minus one down down here to exit the program because that obviously is not a valid age there's nobody aged minus one 
Right, now that's one thing. Now another thing which is missing and is crucial, we need a sort of a exit because this is an infinite loop and when you're dealing with loops, you are basically dealing with an infinite loop and we need some sort of exit to be able to, you know, exit that loop and reach this statement here because it's telling you there's a warning here, unreachable because this statement is unreachable because you have an infinite loop. So how do I break out of the loop? Well, uh, I've said it here, for you to exit that application, just press XX. So what I do, I just put a condition and that would be if username and don't forget the trim because when you read with uh, with the IO standard uh, read, read line, you're getting the whole line plus that return. Uh, and we need to trim that to take it off. So if username trim, and now here, this is equality. Uh, remember, this single equal is basically where you define a variable to something. Whereas equality to test if this is equal to that will be double equal. And that's basically in all programming languages, not just uh, something unique to Rust. And XX. Then what happens? Then I can say break. Now break, break means that you completely are out of the loop and you come here and you see now that warning is gone because I have um, uh, put in a break. Without that break, if I comment that out, you see I get the warning again because unreachable thing because an infinite loop. With commenting that out, it is not more a warning because now the program knows, okay, you have a possibility or a means of exiting that loop. Right, now let's save that. And you can see here now um, that we have a working application and um, yeah, I'm just thinking, shall we? Yeah, let's, 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 let's uh, put another thing. If test age smaller than key age, and let's add another thing, which is basically, obviously your, your, your test age has got to be bigger than zero. So the way to, to add multiple conditions to an if statement, uh, you would have and or or and ands are written with ampersand and then test age greater or equal to zero. So if you're below 18, but bigger or equal to zero, you're a minor, right? And now here we can have a, here we can have a further uh, condition, which is basically the else if, and else if test age, smaller than zero, then what happens then? Well, then there is an error with the age. Oops, misspelled error. The age. And what we can do here is basically, again, oh, and what I gotta do here is, again, I can allow the, pro the program to break out of the whole thing. Or let me, no, there's no need for that. Let's keep it like this, keep it simple. Then we can add anything further. Right, so now we have, a, we have converted our program to a, to a sort of continuous loop until, and it goes on forever until we, we input XX as a name and then we exit that loop. So now uh, let's save it and let's compile it. Or go run. So let's go. Uh, let's print my name, Jane, and my age is uh, 26. So you see, uh, oh, I've got some error here. Uh, right, I got it, I got it. What I did, I forgot to add the trims here. Anyways, and uh, let's test it. Let's test it with another name. Let's say Frank. And you see, input your age. Let's say 13. 
and you see what it does it just takes frank and then it, it we, i forgot to trim the name i have to trim the name here i still got the return in it and let's exit xx and you've exited my a minor right so the program works i've got to do some tweaks basically here it is trim that's what i forgot and here as well and it's a good thing i didn't forget it up here because if i had then i would have uh, then xx would take us out of the of the loop because then it would be really uh, sort of a continuous loop right now that works let's save it and run it again right let's go again let's say uh Julia. Input your age, it is uh, 16. So you see now it's much better. Julia or a minor with 16 years. Now let's input, uh, please input your name. Let's put another name, Mike, and 47. You're definitely an adult. Uh, let's put a third one, let's say Louis. And let's type anything in his age, like this. And you see, there is an error with your age. We got it in control. You see, there was no, the program did not crash because we had this one and it set it to minus one. And because we set it to minus one, we were able to handle a specific input to that error. So what happens is you gave an invalid age that was taken care of by unwrap or and was converted to minus one. And then with that minus one, i.e. smaller than zero, we were able to do that and the program was able to go on to the next step. Now, another thing what I can show you here before we uh, finish off is basically we have break takes you out of, of the loop, but there's another statement which is basically continue and continue just takes you out of that current iteration and takes you to the next iteration. So basically break, you're completely out. With break, you're down here, out of the loop. With continue, you would be just going to the next loop and that whatever comes after continue of that current iteration gets canceled and you enter a new iteration and let's do it here please enter your age and let's say um, we can enter something like that um, enter y y to repeat name right so now if you misspelled your name or something you would have be able to uh, repeat that and by the way <clears throat> what you can do is basically here <clears throat> just just to we can put it all in one line it doesn't rust doesn't care about that and that makes our program a bit more compact it's just a simple <clears throat> a simple if statement and um, what we can do now is basically copy that and right and um take it down here and if user age trim y y then you continue right and so this way if you if you misspelled your name xx takes you completely out with YY, you can go and repeat the name you input. That's sort of the purpose of the thing because if you, once you reach this step here, you've already entered the name and now you have a possibility to repeat the name in case you misspelled it. And with the continue, you enter a new iteration, i.e. we start back at this stage. Right, what I can also do, that's what I wanted to do initially here. Uh, if you have an error with the age, again, go to continue basically again enter a new iteration because obviously something was wrong with the data right got that save it let's go cargo run uh here input name xx exit and now let's go cargo run compile the new version so now we have here uh the new version let's go frank input the uh, age let's say 23 okay frank you're an adult uh, let's go junior let's go i don't know like uh, 14 
Uh, okay, you're a minor. Let's go Louis. And now Louis, let's give Louis uh, an, an, an error. Anything age. And you see, now we have gone and we're back in the next iteration and did not output any of that stuff. Let's go again, uh, Louis. And, or if I need now to repeat the name, YY, and you see again, now I'm able to repeat the name. I can I misspelled Louis, let's say, and then input your age, I'm like 56, uh, definitely adult, and then I go to uh, Jane, and I'm, I don't know, like uh, 42 or 41, and so on. And if I need to completely exit, I have that. So now what you've seen is quite a long video this time, but what we've seen here, we have now a loop, we've hand tackled the loop, the loop basically, and we were able, we also had both break and continue, and we knew the difference between each of these because break takes it completely out of the loop, basically it takes it down here, exited A minor, whereas continue just takes it to the next iteration.